What's up mga kamams and mga kapaps and welcome once again to my channel and for today's video I'll be teaching you how to create this kind of animation text to your PowerPoint presentation to make it interactive and more creative. Tingnan muna natin kung paano siya kapag nasa slide presentation. So yan siya. So wala akong nilagay muna na uh, transition. So I'll just put the animation here. So yan yung itsura niya kapag wala pang animation. And when we click, it will move yung parang bar na yun. And then mag appear yung text. So, pwede natin siyang gawin, especially sa ating discussion, makakatulong to kay teacher, kay student, para mas maging interactive at mabuhay yung klase. So, pwede natin siyang i-insert kapag meron tayong topic na may process, pagkakasunod-sunod ng pangyayari or procedure, no, or steps. Pwede siya. So, magagamit natin siya. So, pwede rin natin palitan yung back ground or backdrop ng inyong slide tulad ng ginawa ko. So, same process. So, depende sa inyo yan. And then, this one. So, pwede tayo maglagay din ng image sa likod. So, yan yung magiging itsura niya. So, simulan natin kung paano siya gawin. So, let's just insert a blank presentation or a new slide. And then, palitan natin yung background niya by going to design. Then, sa akin, instead na pumili ako dito sa template, I'll just format background. And I will choose a solid fill or a gradient fill. Ayan. Gawin natin itong gradient fill. So, ayan yung ating magiging background. Then, after that, after having filling your background, Let's change our theme. So, akin nakapili na ako dito ng theme at ang theme na favorite ko talaga ay green na color theme. So, makikita natin siya kapag nag-format na tayo, yung color palette niya is a uh, touch of green. So, after that, let's go to insert tab. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go to insert tab and click shape. And then, after clicking shape, click natin itong rectangle rounded corner. And let's create shape to our slide. Ayan. Ayan, mga ganyang kalaki. So, it's up to you kung anong gano'ng kalaki ang gusto nyo. Click lang natin itong yellow na bilog para ma-minimize natin or mabawasan natin yung pagka-round ng edge. So, kunting round lang yung gilid ang gusto ko. Then, ang outline niya, gawin natin no outline. So, pwede nyo click yan. No outline. And then, ang shape fill natin ay white. And then, let's format it. Um, align to center and align to middle. And then, after that, lagyan din natin ng effect. Lagyan natin ng shadow outside itong nasa center na to para magkaroon siya ng ganyang effect. So, 3D effect siya. The next, gawin natin. Meron na tayong ganito. Gawin naman natin to. Okay, so let's just go to insert tab. Punta ulit tayo sa shape, then this one, rectangle, shape. Then gawa tayo ng shape ng rectangle. So, o oh, yan. Mga ganyang kalaki. No outline uli. And then let's change the fill to, punta tayo dito sa format background. Dito na pala siya regent fill tayo. Ayan. Mas gusto ko yan. Alisin lang natin tong dalawa na to by clicking the delete on our keyboard. Click natin to. Click. Then delete. Then matitira tong dalawa. So, let's change the color of this one to turquoise accent 6 darker 25%. And same with the other side. Oh, let's make it 100%. Ayan. Same color. Then, let's add here at the center. Let's make it 50%. Ayan. And let's change the color to this. Accent turquoise, accent 6, lighter 60%. And then, let's change the type to linear. And the direction to 
linear right. So, ganyan magiging sura ng effect niya. So, same siya with this one. Ayan. And then, after that, gusto, gusto natin magkaroon ng ganitong effect. Teka. Zoom in ko. Ayan. Gusto natin mag ganitong 3D effect. Diba? Parang may shadow. Parang nakapasok siya sa loob. So, para magawa natin yan, balik tayo dito. Diitan natin ulit. Let's go to insert tab. Click shape. Then, let's click the oval shape. Let's create oval shape here. Mga ganyan kalaki. Position lang natin to center. Sorry. Yan. Then, let's remove the outline. Then, go to format shape. Ito yan. By clicking this one, lalabas to. Gradient fill tayo. Let's remove this one by clicking it. Then, press delete on your keyboard. Click delete. Matitira itong dalawa. Position it to zero. Then, the other side, position it to 100%. So, let's change the color of this one, this bar. To the darkest one and so with the other side to the darkest one but this time ang gagawin natin sa transparency niya should be 100% transparency and then let's go to effects by clicking this shape then click to pag naka hide siya let's just click soft edges and then let's change the size to let's increase it to 5 so ganyan ang kanyang magiging Effect. So, when we zoom in, tingnan natin para makita natin siya. Ganyan ang magiging itsura niya. Okay? So, para mas magmukha siyang shadow effect, para maalis natin yung half, yung tulad magiging itsura nito, no? Yung parang nakapasok sa loob. By inserting, kung to insert tab once again, then click rectangle on our shape. Then, let's draw a rectangle here. Let's remove the outline let's, and change the fill to white. Lakihan lang natin tong shape natin konti. Para mag mas magandang effect. And then, lakihan lang natin to konti. Yeah. Yeah. Then, we just labas pa. Only itan na lang natin to konte. Para hindi sobrang haba nung. Then let's center it. Ayan, lita natin to konte. Again, sorry. Antay natin don. Ayan. So, ganyan magiging itsura niya, di ba? Kapareho nitong nasa unahan. So, the same. Then, para magawa natin yan, let's zoom it out. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's zoom it out. Ito natin. Click lang natin tong dalawang image shape natin by control click, control click, control click. Yan. Then, let's click control D on our keyboard to duplicate it. So, magiging dalawa na siya. Then, position natin sa kabila. Click natin muna itong shadow effect natin. I-align natin siya para masentro. And then, so with this, one. Position lang din natin siya. Kaya, yusin muna natin ito ulit. Hindi siya nakasentro. Ayan. Then, this one. Zoom nga natin para mas kita natin. Ayan ang magiging itsura niya. Centro. Yan. So, meron na tayong 3D effect. Oops. So, meron na tayong 3D effect. Yan. Feel pala. Ito pala. Sorry. So, ayan yung magiging itsura niya. Now, let's make this one. No, yung movable na bar so let's just go to insert tab click shape then click the rectangle reshape then let's click shift para makapag create tayo ng perfect rectangle ayan 
And then, let's remove the outline. Then, let's change the fill. Ito, palitan natin. Ito. Ayan. Uksod lang natin siya. Pantay natin. Zoom ko lang konti. Para mas kitang-kita natin, mga kapatid. Ay, sorry. Para mas kitang-kita natin. Ayan. Ay, putik. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry po. Sorry po. Ayan. And then, align lang natin siya. Center. Center. Ayan. Usod natin konti. And then, sabi dyan, lagyan din natin ito. So, click insert ulit tayo. Then, click natin yung rectangle. Then, let's draw a rectangle. Okay. Zoom uli natin para mas kitang kita nyo, mga kapatid, mga kamams, mga kapaps. Let's remove the outline. Let's change the fill to this one. Mas dark. And then, pantay natin siya dapat. Yan, pantay dapat siya. And so, with this side, dapat pantay siya. And then, itong yellow na to, i-move natin to, sorry, yung yellow. Yan, move natin dito sa right para maging ganyan ang itsura niya. Then, let's click Ctrl D on our keyboard. Punta natin sa kabila. And then, go to Format Shape, ala, uh, Rotate. And then, flip horizontal. Horizontal. Ayan. So, naka-align na siya. And then, para magawa natin siya sa baba, click lang natin yung control key. Then, click this one para dalawa sila. Then, control D to duplicate. So, position natin siya. So, para ma-position natin siya ng pabiligtad naman, format shape ulit tayo, rotate and flip it vertical. So, madali na ang trabaho natin, di ba? So, yan. Dalain ko na. Teka, yusin natin ulit. Para sure na fit siya. Yan, fit. Sure fit. Yan, sure fit siya. So, yan, magiging itsura niya. Then, let's make a shadow effect dito sa ilalim. So, paano din na tayo gumawa ng ginawa natin kanina? Click lang natin to and let's click Ctrl D. Then, ilagay natin dito sa gitna niya. And then, let's go to format shape. Then, click tong send backwards, send backwards, send backwards, send backwards, send backwards hanggang mag-send siya sa likod. And then, control D uli natin. Sa kabila naman, yeah, ay, sorry. Ayan. Control, uh, send backward ulit sa format shape. Send back, send back, send back, send back. Ayan. And we have it now. Zoom out natin. Tingnan natin yung itsura. Ito lang pipindutin eh. Ayan. So, yan ang magiging itsura niya. And then, i-group natin siya. Let's just select that. Itadrag lang natin yun. Click tayo sa any area. Ayan. Click sa any area. Then drag. Drag hold. Then unhold. And then control G. Okay. Pero kung gusto nyo procedure na ano, maggrupo, shape format, then click group. Ayan. Or ungroup. Then nagroup na natin siya. May nakalimutan tayo. Let's put a number. Ayan, di ba may number? Ang ginamit kong font dito, or font style, is Vonic. Vonic 64. Hindi ko alam kung tama yung pronunciation ko dyan. Dinownload ko lang siya, pero it's up to you kung anong font ang gusto nyo. So, para maglagay tayo, go to insert, then click text box, drag a text box here, then lagay natin 01, type 01, control A, align it to center, Let's make this 54 size. And then, let's change the uh, font style. Ito nga ginamit ko. Vonic. I don't know if that is the proper pronunciation. Vonic 64. Make it bold. Put shadow and change the color to. Anong color ito? Uh, ito. Ito. This one. Lime accent 2. Darker 50%. And then, sinko lang. Ayan. Alay natin dito. 
Click lang natin yan, pati yung shape na green up natin a while ago. Then go to format shape, align center, align middle. Ayan. And then control G uli to group. And then pwede na siyang ma-move. So paano natin gagawin yun? Siyempre we will going to put an animation. At dito magsisimula ang hiwaga. Hiwaga talaga. Hiwaga sa balete drive. So go to animation. So, click animation, then add animation. Punta tayo sa motion paths. Click natin tong lines and let's change the direction to the left. So, yan. And then, after that, close lang natin to, no? Then, click natin ang animation pane para makita natin yung animation. Click lang natin tong red na to. Makikita nyo yung bilog na pula. Click lang natin yung shift sa ating uh, keyboard. Then, Press click natin yung sa mouse. And then hold lang natin, drag natin para pantay pa rin sa proper position niya. So once we preview, ayan. So gandahan natin ng medyo effect. Let's set the effect option and timing. Ang effect timing niya, uh, 0.5 wag. Gawin nating 0.75. Pwede rin dito ha, sa ribbon na to. So 0.75 ang gawin natin. And then, yung time duration yun. Then, the effect, smooth start, zero, smooth end, zero. And bounce end, gawin natin, 0.38 seconds. So, ayan ang magiging itsura niya pag preview natin. Ayan. Then, let's add text. So, ang gagawin natin, go to insert, click the text box, then drag your text box here. Ayan. Diba natin konti. Okay na yan. Then, lagay natin. Ano nakalagay dito? Add your detail text here. So, let's type. Asan na yun? Hala. Again. Let's insert. Okay. Add your detail text here. Then, let's change the font style to Century Gothic. Yan ang gusto ko. Then, let's change the color to this one. And let's make it bold. Ah, hindi. Pangit ng Gothic. Masyadong manipis. Ito. Aharoni. Huwag na natin i-bold. Yan. Lakihan lang natin. Let's make it 20. O, oh, 28. Pwede na yan. Move lang natin konti rito. Pusod natin konti. Ayan. So, pag plinay natin, makikita nyo, wala pa siyang smooth transition or animation. So, let's go to animation once again by clicking this text box, ha? And then, click natin yung wipe. So, ang direction niya, effect option, going to right. So, ganyan. And then, let's change the duration. Okay na yung duration na yan. Tingnan natin kung... And let's change pala the... A start on with previews. Tignan natin. Ayun. Smooth. Ulit. Yun. And then, para magawa natin yung pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat, pangalawa muna tayo. Click tayo sa outside. Then, then drag para ma-select natin itong lahat. Then, click Ctrl D to duplicate. Then, position natin siya. So, dapat pantay ah. Makikita nyo naman yan eh. Yan. Position natin siya. Then, click natin itong box. Let's move it here to the other side. Oops, sobra. Mga ganyan lang. Mga ganyang amount. Yan. And then, let's change the color. Palitan natin itong color. By going to shape format, palitan natin siya ng ito. Yan. And then, click natin to. Click control ha. Control click. Control click. Control click. Control click. To change the color of the triangles. So, ito. The darkest one. Yan. Ang itsura niya. And then, let's change the ha, number to 0, 2. So, it's up to you kung anong gusto nyo lagay dyan. Pwede rin kayo maglagay ng image if you want. Kung ayaw nyo ng text. And then, 
yung animation naman niya. Kasi pag clinic natin yan, pag inanimate natin yan, if you notice, pumunta sa kabila. Kasi nga, kinapi lang natin siya or dinoplicate. So, let's change the animation. Click lang natin yung animation. Go to animation. Uh, yung effect option to right. So, ayusin uli natin yung direction niya by clicking shift. Click muna natin to. Makikita natin yung red na circle. Click shift. Then, click, hold, dragging to the proper place or position. So, yan ang magiging itsura niya once we play. And then, let's change the duration to 0.75. And the effect option, smooth start is 0, smooth end is 0, and the bounce once again is 0 0.38 seconds. Yun! And then, if you notice, tignan natin, pag cleaning natin itong dalawa, opposite. So, ang gagawin natin dito, papalitan lang natin yung effect option or direction niya from right to left. So, once cleaning natin itong dalawa na to, smooth na siya. Yun. So, pag cleaning all natin, ayun, ang ganda. And then, for the last two, Para mabilis yun, click, drag lang tayo to select, then control D para maduplicate natin or makapi. And then, ayusin lang natin position. Ayan. Ayan. Okay na siya. And then, let's change the color. Ganun ulit, procedure. Change the color, format shape. Change the color. Ano? Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ito lang pala. Itong shape lang na muna na to. Let's change the color to this one. Then, click, hold, uh, control click tayo sa triangle. May mga nag, may pampapap, may, sorry. Click, 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 sorry. Click, ayan. Click yung mga small triangles. Para mabilis kesa isa-isa ang gawin natin. Pwede, pwede nyo naman gawing isa-isa yun. Pero mas mainamang maramihan. Ayan. So, magkaiba na ng kulay, no? And then, ito. Palitan pala natin yung number. 2, 3. This one, palitan din natin yung number. 2, 4. Then, let's change the color of this square to the other color. Ayan. Then, square. Ay, square. Triangle. Click. Hold. Ah, uh, control. Hold, click. And then, change the color. Ayan. So, yan na siya. So, hindi na natin papakailaman yung transition. Ay, transition. Yung animations. Kasi, pareho lang naman siya ni 1 and 3. Then, 2 and 4. So, yan na. So, pag all natin siya, ayan na siya. Ang ganda. Okay. Pag gusto nyo palitan ulit yung design o yung backdrop nyo, go to design, format background. Okay, close lang natin to. Pwede kayong pumili kung solid gradient picture pattern. O, halimbawa, yung pattern ng gusto nyo. So, pwede kayong pumili ng pattern na gusto nyo. Ha? So, it's up to you. Okay? So, pwede nyo rin palitan yung kulay if you want. Halimbawa, this one. The blue one. Yan. So, pag uh, shift F5 natin, current slide, yan na. Hmm. Malupet. So, meron na tayong magandang slide template para sa ating presentation. Lalo na ngayon pag nagturo tayo online, no? So, kailangan natin medyo catchy ang ating PowerPoint presentation para hindi lalong mabore si student. Alam naman natin mga students natin ngayon. So, that's all folks. And that is our tutorial for animating your text and make it a creative and interactive PowerPoint presentation. So, if you like this video and if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to like, okay? Give a positive comments and share and also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button for you to have more of my new videos. So, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching mga kamams and mga kapaps. Bye-bye!